Clock, the race for Texas House District 29 is literally swarming with controversy after bees, yes, bees, were left outside a polling place in Pearland. Now, one candidate is accusing the other's supporter of intentionally luring the bees to their campaign tent on the first day of early voting. Marcelino Benito is on this story talking to everyone involved. Marcelino. Well, and Mia, this story is wild. Jeff Barry and Alex Kamkar both want to be the next state rep for District 29. Tonight, Barry says one of his opponent's supporters, who happens to be a beekeeper, left hundreds of bees behind on purpose, but that beekeeper is defending himself. Well, they were absolutely swarming. You could say there's a buzz in the air outside Tom Reed Library in Pearland. We had several hundred bees here. It was it wasn't just a couple. It was it was actually very noticeable. It's Republican Jeff Barry's fourth election, and he's never seen something like this before. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that this would happen. This is unfathomable. Who would ever do that? Look, they're already swarming. I just got that. Barry says Monday, Doug Holloway, an area beekeeper, pulled up and parked near his campaign tent. He left. They're everywhere. Those are all those are all bees. But a bunch of bees stayed behind. The bees never went away. They stayed and stayed and stayed. Barry blames Holloway and calls him a supporter of the Cam Car campaign. I don't know what the intent was, uh, but it was certainly something that was that was premeditated. Tonight, Holloway told me he vehemently denies any involvement. He confronted Barry earlier today at the polls. I don't leave any bees with you. But Barry isn't convinced. He made a video the night before, put it on YouTube. You know, guys, I think we're ready for a playoff. In the video, Holloway lays empty bee boxes under campaign signs, but then shows bees in the back of his truck and says this. I have no intention of doing anything. Just keep things honest. The Barry campaign ultimately called a beekeeper to relocate the bees. We reached out to the Camcar campaign for comment, and the candidate told us in a statement, our campaign was not present at the poll site since polls were not open, nor were any paid campaign workers present. Holloway also told me he supports both candidates, but according to Barry campaign volunteers, as they were setting up campaign signs Sunday afternoon, they happened to capture video of Holloway putting up Camcar campaign signs as well. And we found these pictures of Cam Carr with Holloway, taken as early as one week ago from the candidate's Facebook page. Barry says at the end of the day, he just wants a civil polling location. It's a safety issue, and we need to make sure that those things don't happen in the future. Tonight I spoke to Pearland police who tell me they did take a look at this, but it's not in their purview because it happened outside a polling place. It would need to be investigated by a federal agency. Barry's still weighing what their next steps may be. We should also mention Governor Abbott set to travel to this district Thursday to rally with Alex Kamkar. Back to you. An unbelievable situation and ordeal there. Marcelina Benito, thank you.